Hello, today I'll be coding this assembly of triangular prisms, which resembles a lot something else I did recently, which is this neon tile snack. Now, I'm going to put links in the description, both for the video and the demo, and now I'm just going to copy paste the code. So, I'll just uh, take the structure, copy paste it, uh, change the number of tiles to 26. Now, I'm going to take the CSS and again, just uh, copy paste it and uh, start changing stuff. So, first of all, I'm going to remove these keyframes. I'm not going to be uh, needing these keyframes. Uh, next thing I'll be removing is this uh, after here. I'm going to uh, remove this uh, J as well. Um, and here I'm going to uh, replace it with 1 minus I. So I'm going to have calc 1 minus I. Okay, now the next thing that I'm going to do is set this uh, I to 0. Okay, now for the final things, I'm going to uh, remove uh, these two rules. I'm not going to have any animation on the faces. I'm not going to have box shadow. Background, it's going to be um, current color. That should do it. Now, for the faces, I'm done. Um, here, I'm going to set a J, which is the loop index. Um, this base, it's going to be uh, something different. It's going to be a scale 3D, um, which is, uh, so I'm going to have a scale by a factor F along the horizontal directions, which are X and Z, and it's going to be 1 along the vertical direction, which is Y, so I'm going to have F1, F, okay, um, this one is going to be a linear animation, and it's going to be a rotation animation, um, now, Next thing, I'm going to um, just uh, take this. Here, I'm going to set transform, and I'm going to use base. And I'm also going to have a rotation around the y axis, the vertical axis. So rotate y, and it starts at zero degrees. Now, finally, I'm going to put this rotation here. I'm going to uh, take this transform. Um, and I'm going to put it here. So uh, this rotation is going to be the central angle corresponding to one edge of the triangle. Oh, central base angle. Okay, whatever I call it. So uh, I'm going to take this out of here. I'm going to take the animation and everything else from here. Don't need anything else. I'm going to take this uh, after. Let's increase this perspective value a bit. Let's collapse the body. I don't think I'm going to need it anymore. Um, now, for this, I can simplify this mixing. So, I can take that part out. Now, this is going to be always N. Uh, I'm not going to need these two lines because those are for the highlight, and I'm taking the highlight out. So since I'm taking the highlight out, I'm taking it out completely. I'm not going to be needing this function. Um, same thing goes for a lot of stuff computed in here. I'm not going to need it. This animation duration is a bit too long. I'm going to uh, put it at uh, just one second. Um, I'm going to delete a few more things from here. Um, I'm going to make the height quite a bit smaller. Um, the base uh, edge length, I'm going to make it bigger, something like this. I'm going to collapse this mixin. Um, and one more thing I'm going to compute here. Um, so this is going to be another constant, and this one is going to be half the number of tiles minus one. So um, 
this helps me compute the position relative to the midpoint. And one more thing I'm going to uh, compute here is um, the length of that list of colors. So length of C. So yeah, uh, this is it. Now, next here, I'm going to take this. I'm going to change that a bit later. Now, here I'm going to compute a margin. And this margin is going to be vertically. Uh, it's going to be J minus that M I computed earlier. Uh, times twice the height because I want to have a bit of space in between as well so horizontally the margin is going to be zero so I'm not doing anything oh uh, and everything appears in the upper side because um, I didn't uh, change the number of tiles okay now that I've done this I'm going to do uh, one more thing here. I'm going to go from zero and here as well. I'm going to go from uh, zero. Now here I'm going to go to the number of colors uh, and I'm going to use this number of colors n plus uh, and here I'm going to set color. It's the color in the list at the index i plus one. So um, this uh, does it in terms of colors. Oopsie. Okay, now I can collapse this as well. Uh, and here I'm going to compute the scaling factor, that f. Uh, and this one is going to be 1 minus. Um, so the maximum value of the, abs of the ratio between the absolute value of this difference uh, and the number of tiles is 0.5. So I need to multiply that with uh, 2 to get to 1. So that's going to be uh, 2 times the absolute value of j minus m. Sorry. Um, actually, I'm going to make this j to make it less confusing. j minus m over the number of tiles. Um, so um, what's wrong? Oh, J, sorry. So, um, yeah, uh, this uh, does it. I think I want just uh, a bit more exaggerated change. So I'm going to do something like 1.25. So I think this should do it. Okay, this, this looks better. Um, and now here I'm going to add a delay. Okay, this is really making my fan go crazy. Uh, so uh, this is going to be multiplied with uh, twice the animation duration over the number of tiles. Um, so um, I want them all to be rotating. At the very beginning so I'm going to subtract T out of here so uh, this should do it and now they're all rotating right from the start and uh, yeah this is it I'm not exactly happy with how it moves it seems to be a bit laggy let's see it in debug mode uh, let's do a refresh and see it in debug mode. I mean, it seems to be pretty laggy here as well. I don't know, maybe I should do it with WebGL. Let me know if you want me to do it with WebGL as well. So um, yeah, I'm going to leave it like this for now. You can find the link to the finished demo in the description below. And if you have any questions, you can drop them in the comments or send them on Twitter. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have and you want me to be able to do more stuff in the future, please consider supporting my work in one of the ways explained in the description. With a donation, by getting me something off my Amazon wishlist, or at least by sharing this to show the world what can be done with CSS these days. Because I think it's pretty damn cool. In any event, thanks for watching.